The St. Lucia Development Bank has to date approved blended finance of up to $1.5 million to households and the business community as part of interventions under the Economic Recovery and Resilience Plan, ERRP. Under its pillar to stimulate the economy, the government of St. Lucia has partnered with the SLDB to offer $8.4 million in loan and grant support to medium, small and micro enterprises with a focus on food security and adaptation of digital technologies and a $5 million working capital injection program. Managing Director Vincent Boland indicates that the programs have drawn tremendous response by the public. We totaled about 119 inquiries. Okay. We have generated applications of about $2.5 million. We have approvals of up to $1.5 million. And we are dispersing that, you know, as, as needed, as, as persons um, get all the information that we need, we are able to disperse. It's, and it, it's a broad spectrum. We have seen people come from the preschools. We have seen farmers. We have seen hairdressers. We have seen, you know, small restaurants, medium-sized restaurants. Mm -hmm. People who were able to collate their information and then come to us and say, "Listen, this is what I need." And they've they've received the grant, mm -hmm. as well as the, the the small loan. And you're seeing that they are looking at working capital to be able to reposition their business to pay some of their staff. Despite the immense reception by the public, the majority of the combined allocation of the two programs, 13.4 million, has yet to be taken up by households and the business community in the wake of the pandemic. Boland explains a critical factor impeding the application process. Persons don't have um, records readily available. Okay. So we asked for, hey, the, the World Bank, certain conditions were, were put in, for instance, you had to show that you had a 30% reduction in your revenue. Yeah? Wow. Um, you know, now most, most businesses will tell you, yes. They we, feel a pinch. They, we, we had a, a drastic decline. And we're saying, okay, well, let's see that. Let's see your management accounts. Now, for the smaller business, mm -hmm. it's, it, it's not that readily available. They have to either go and take their bank statements and then come up with, you know, the information to show, listen, this is what I, I earned before and this is what has happened to me now. Mm -hmm. So we're still grappling with that and, and working through. And we have actually adopted an approach internally to try and see how best we can assist them in, in generating the information. SLDB's Managing Director, Vincent Boland. The bank continues to welcome applications for the two programs.